What's going on, you guys? So one of the YouTubers that follows me, uh, Abraham Lincoln, yes, I know Abraham Lincoln, he's live and well, no, I'm joking, <laughs> posted something that literally blew my mind. All right, look at this. You need to check this out. So we click on this, and I saw it, and I was like, nah, this is some fake site. This has got to be a fake site. This must be a mod at best. So I'm like, this this can't be. So I flew to the bottom and I'm like, wait, no, that's that's Game Labs. That that's Game Labs. So then I go back and I'm like, alright, there's a war gamer article about it. Ultimate general, American Revolution is a thing and nobody told us. So <laughs> I'm a little freaked out here, just a little bit. All right, Game Labs is quickly becoming a powerhouse in digital wargaming, or at least it would be if the studio bothered to tell anyone about what they were doing. You'll know that they are working on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail and Dreadnought, of course, I know about those. You might even know they're working on a more sim-focused naval game, Sea Legends. Yeah, also. But did you know they're returning to the original Ultimate General brand and creating a new entry based on the American War of Independence. No, me neither. We will give full credit and props to the YouTuber History Guy Gaming, which I know that guy. He gave absolutely like two thumbs up for what was the uh, Grand Tactician of Civil War, I believe. Me and him gave it like the best Civil War game ever made. So he's my bra. We spotted the vi below video being shared on social media. This is how we learned of the game's existence. So this is how people found out about this game. Seriously. He himself was tipped off by a member of his community. There's a, a lot to unpick of the game's homepage, incomplete information on being able to control tactical battles. If you have a general nearby supply infrastructure, you'll also be shocked to know there are two factions. Well, a lot, yeah. There's a lot of interesting stuff here, so make sure you give the full page read. The game doesn't appear to be available to buy yet, though they will be going down a limited edition route at some point where you can gain immediate access. Something they did with their Ultimate Admiral games before they hit. Wow, okay, so let's take a look at this beautiful thing here. All right, is a sandbox, sandbox strategy game. Does that mean I could fight the War of Independence from beginning to end and not in scenarios? I wanna put a pin on that. Featuring the epic historical period during the rebellion of the American colonies against the British Empire. Take on the role of the British or American colonists and fight for territorial control over North America. A gripping real-time campaign awaits you on a detailed 3D map where you can build your army and navy, construct military infrastructure, and fully command your armies on regimental level. Ooh, nice. If you want even more action, you can fully zoom in and fight massive battles on a battalion level. Okay, so it is gonna be on a campaign. Campaign. So, like, let's take a look at these screenshots. Wow, nice. You can see the terrain is definitely an upgrade from Ultimate General Civil War, so it's like a much more graphics much more detail you got Washington here nice I wonder if the units like individual units are like if this is the 10th Pennsylvania kind of thing and I'm assuming this is pulled out to a battalion level wait a minute wait a minute you got Boston Worcester Peekskill wait a minute so what I'm gaining from here is that when this unit hits this unit, it'll go into something like this. All right. Fight in real time on the global map with regiments and naval squadrons. Whoa. Move your general to gain tactical control of the situation in a minimal way. The presence of the general makes it possible to control the troops and ships directly on the map. Actively use maneuvers. Cut supply routes. That's awesome. Utilize different types of terrain and flank with cavalry. The battles can be fought with more detail and full tactical control by zooming in further on the map. 
Whoa. Wow. So it is what I thought. So, in essence, you can fight this way, or you can zoom in and fight this way. I'm thinking it's going to be like a Google Maps kind of thing where you could just scroll in and go into this level or scroll back out and do something in this level. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. 250, 100. Wow. So, in terms of leaders, you have Cornwallis here. I don't see any other leaders like a division, commander, or anything like that. So, I'm assuming they're attached to the actual unit here. If you choose to fight battles with full tactical control, the regiments become divided into smaller battalions, allowing you to command of hundreds of units in real time, create a dazzling and realistic combat experience of the historical period. Troops are positioned and landscape according to the placement they had on the map at the given time. Some will engage the enemy immediately. Others can be repositioned in deployment zones. Okay, interesting. Interesting. While those were further away, may join the later as reinforcements okay so i'm assuming if you zoom in then it'll engage a tactical mode because there's deployment zone so i'm assuming it stops you'll frequently receive reports about the location of cornwall's british army there's a report about a battle outside your general's control ah interesting the battle started a few days ago so you don't have full information mm -hmm. Realistic reconnaissance is simulated. Oh, nice. Okay. When units are colored gray, it means the reports from them are delayed. When an area enters general control radius, it will be updated with the current situation. That's good. Furthermore, the realist information in nearby battles, you'll discover the British Army moved from Boston down to Providence and now you are in trouble. Wow, okay, yeah, a little bit. And then since Cornwallis now detected Providence, the gray icon show them near Boston removed that their information out as they two regiments reported in or found near Providence. Interesting, okay. So this is the fog of war is mixed in with this. Realistic reconnaissance is simulated, making messages on the basis of military intelligence and battle maneuvering. Messages can be delayed or intercepted by the enemy. That's cool resulting in your orders not reaching your troops in time or rendering communication with your distant territories impossible. Ooh, wow. Okay, let me zoom in here because this is build your army and fleet. Wow, okay. Nice. Wow. Okay, zoom out. Military infrastructure, lead your troops to victory, develop regions that provide food, weapons, and ammunition for your army and navy, build military structure to train special units, recruits, or host your army during a harsh winter, build infrastructure, raise supplies, and plan supply routes. All right, let's see what this looks like here. Yeah. So this is like a city screen, I'm assuming, factories. All right, create core, supply, ship, nice. The amount of food in the supply, wow. I'm assuming that's population. Supply of troops. Armies of fleets cannot be maintained without an effective industrial base. Produce rifles, cannons, build ships. A single shot needs powder and a bullet. War requires tons of powder and thousands of bullets. Organize and prioritize the production chains to fulfill your army's requirements. Wow. This is so unlike Ultimate General Civil War or Gettysburg. This is going full on. Wow, this is what I wanted when Ultimate General Civil War came out. I thought this is what was going to be in that game. I guess they were holding it for the best, you know, the American Revolution. Oh my gosh, this is freaking amazing. Wow. And loyalty of the population. Use these recruits to create divisions. You could create division brigades and regiments. Keep your soldiers alive. Take too many casual and might not have enough recruits to reinforce lose so many battles and the population's loyalty and army morale will drop and the war will be lost let me know what commanders do weapons 
provided by weapons fragment weapons are received when a new unit created and later these weapons can be replaced by better ones according to availability ammunition consists of gunpowder bullets and also necessary to consistently okay Food and other is produced by agricultural f facilities. The more food region produces, the larger the army it can feed. Ah, okay, that's critical. It's to increase food production. It is necessary to raise the agricultural level of the region. So you need to focus on combat strategy and building uh, a support system to feed that army. Suppose food will be stored in warehouses or sent to other regions. Mineral resources are needed to produce weapons. That's awesome. Look how much stuff they have. Wow. Uh, to produce weapons, you must develop military and industry. It's a simplified system which you need to build. Okay. Warehouses. Are making. I'm just like literally flying over this. Supply lines. This is moving food and ammunition requires supply wagons, supply ships, and well-developed infrastructure. If a region is cut off from supply line, when the army in the region can consume only its own supplies and rely on what it lies in its region's warehouse or is produced by the region, that means it can intercept convoys, and in this case, part of supply will be captured. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary to secure your supply lines and avoid letting your army be cut off from supply centers. Wow. That's insane. That's amazing. Because that was basically, you know, what happened in the, uh, what was it, the 1776 campaign where Washington, you know, basically got in between the supply line between New York and Philly and they had to just basically abandon, well, New Jersey. All right. The game uses a realistic line of sight through a physical ray model. For each unit is calculated with multiple beams, which obstructs its visibility. Each unit sees its individual around itself. The overall picture is obtained by overlaying the information from all units. Terrain matters. Okay. Realistic ballistics. Okay. You're going to be a clip. Okay. Innovative command system. You decide the level of army command. Command every unit individually or just give them a goal with a single click and watch them if they could take that hill. Draw a defensive line. Ooh, and the allocated brigades will defend it like lions. Design a sheep flank, deep flanking maneuver by just drawing an arm arrow and send the whole army to, uh, to the enemy flank or rear. Army division commanders can also make decisions on their own. Ooh, boy. Oh boy. Sounded like that WWF wrestler. What was that guy? Slap it to the Slim Jim? Or help control a large army. Your generals will try to fulfill your orders, although no plan survives contact with the enemy. You could detach skirmishers. We saw that in the Ultimate General Civil War. Dismount cavalry. We saw that there. Okay. Officer Pre. Progression, the player general and historical unit commanders will be able to improve their abilities as the campaign progresses. Officers rank up based upon their unit's performance. They can be wounded or even killed. Higher ranks provide new command opportunities, allow officers to lead larger units efficiently. Winning battles also provides direct benefits to you as a general, increasing skills such as reconnaissance or political influence. Jeez, this is like the golden game here. The literary of the order takes time. So if the further unit is from general, the longer it will take to receive the unit. Okay. Okay, interesting. And then AI. Wow. Wow. Try not to disappoint Congress. Otherwise, they will find a new, different leader. Okay, that's interesting. His Majesty has given orders. Destroy the rebels. As any request can be rejected by Parliament if you do not have enough influence, is an active development with a limited edition. What happens when you hit buy now? Ooh, well that's nice. I like that. I'm gonna definitely save that. I like that. I'm definitely gonna put this in <laughs> after I'm done with this video. But yeah, guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah.
I just I don't know what to say. I'm struck for words. You know, you know, it's like it's like when you see the most beautiful girl in the world and you just lost for words is what's going on. This is what's going on with me today. Unbelievable. Absolute unbelievable. I love you, Game Labs. I love you. <laughs> Jeez, guys, you you just oh. You're taking my heart. <laughs> Man, I can't believe this. Campaign. Oh my gosh. This is... This is what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> we have two incredible games. We have Grand Tactician Civil War, which is an incredible strategy game for the Civil War ever made. And now we have the most incredible... American Revolution strategy game. I just, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm, like like I said, I'm a loss for words. I, I just, wow. Thank you, Game Labs. This is for as sucky as 2020 is. You guys and Grand Tactician have made this oh so brighter. Oh so brighter. I'm going to have to end this video because I'm going to put my name on that <laughs> list. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then.